One of Denver's largest employers and its former boss who wanted to be the governor have been indicted on federal charges. DeVita and its former CEO Kent Theory are charged with manipulating the job market. Theory and DeVita are accused of conspiring with their competitors to not hire each other's senior level employees. Theory could face 10 years in prison. That, that's him in the in the musketeers costume. This has kind of been his thing for years. It's a long story. Back to the indictment. DeVita, the company, could face up to $200 million in fines. Sounds like a lot, but the kidney dialysis company has made major payouts part of its business model. Our partners at Colorado Politics noted $970 million in recent settlements by DeVita and a $383 million verdict against the company for the deaths of its patients. Theory has been talked about for years as a Republican or unaffiliated candidate for governor. He's put his considerable political power and wealth behind the successful effort to change how Colorado does redistricting. His spokeswoman said today that Theory did not break the law and they accused federal prosecutors of hiding evidence. Theory's indictment is the highest profile criminal case against a Colorado business executive since Quest Joe Naccio more than a decade ago.